Hi, this is Rob from Hawthorne Inspection Cameras again. Uh, today we're going to be teaching about our Wi-Fi series. Uh, these cameras don't require a controller for operation. You simply need your mobile phone or tablet, Apple or Android, and you can stream video and record video directly to your phone. These are incredibly portable, come in four different sizes, our Micron, our Mini, our Mid, which you see here, and the large size, anything from 100 to 400 feet multiple different camera heads, self-leveling and non, multiple different rod thicknesses to make sure that you can dial your tool into the jobs that you do day in and day out, rather than buying a tool off the shelf, which may not be right for you. Uh, what we see is a lot of guys have two or three of these, depending on the jobs they do, uh, maybe a micron for internal sinks and bathtubs, uh, and a large reel perhaps for larger three to 12 inch pipe up to 400 feet. It's particularly good for Guys that don't need to do text overlay, don't want to lug around a large controller, and don't need some of the advanced features that come with the H12 controller. This is designed more for plumbers, home inspectors, folks that really want to send a small video or snapshot to the homeowner or the insurance agency to prove what a blockage is, um, rather than perhaps a municipality that's looking for text overlay, multiple um, different inspections throughout a system. This is a simpler tool. Uh, it's no less rugged and reliable. It's got the exact same quality of steel frame, rod, uh, and camera head as all of our other systems. Uh, it just doesn't have a lot of the same features uh, for recording and viewing video that you'd see on a 12-inch system. So all of our Wi-Fi reels are powered either by an 18-volt Milwaukee battery or equivalent, or through an AC-DC adapter, 12 volts, which comes supplied with the system and simply plug it in the wall. Uh, I prefer to use a battery. Uh, you get very long life. You'll probably get three hours out of one of these little guys. Uh, the size up, you'll probably get four to six. Um, and you can take them anywhere. Realistically, you don't need uh, a plug in for the wall as long as you've got a battery. Our Wi-Fi hub generates its own network signal. So you could be in the middle of the woods and stream directly to your phone or tablet. You do not need data or an external Wi-Fi signal. It creates its own. It's very similar to a router that you'd find uh, out at McDonald's or Starbucks or in your home. Let's show you how it works. You want to go to the Play Store or the App Store for Apple and download our latest V3 pipe stream app. Type in Hawthorne and the app will show up. The app is free and there are no ads. It will allow you to save videos to your phone and take snapshots. There's no pause function. That's planned for a future release. To power the unit up, simply click your battery into the cradle. That will not come out. And insert the pigtail into the Wi-Fi hub and you'll see the camera light come on and the blue light that says the Wi-Fi is active. You could also use the 12 volt adapter. As I said, I prefer to use the battery. Wait for this about 10 or 15 seconds for the network to start. To connect and make a video, click on settings. You'll see all of your networks come up and you'll see a unique one that says Hawthorne with a few numbers after it. Each Wi-Fi unit has its own distinct serial number. This one happens to be 25297. W, click on that. It'll ask you for a password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The password's always the same. Click join. It's now pairing the device to the Wi Fi reel. You'll see a check mark when it's connected, telling you that this device is now speaking directly to the camera. Once you see the check mark, you're now joined with the camera. Click on the Hawthorne app, press connect, and you're now streaming live video from the camera. You're now streaming live video. Note there's no latency between the camera and what you see on the video. You can connect three to four devices at a time to this. We're now going to show you how to move the footage counter around the screen. In case it's in front of an obstruction you really want to see, simply push the yellow button on the hub quickly, and it will move around the screen and then come back. Okay. Note we've got 
four and a half feet of footage, 1.4 meters here. If we want to reset that to zero, we hold the yellow button down for three seconds until it flashes and it resets to zero. That's very handy when you're doing vertical to horizontal inspections and need to understand a horizontal distance or a vertical distance. And finally, all of our cameras come with a 512 hertz sound built in. To turn that on, it's the yellow button again. You hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll note the little icon telling you that the sound's on. You'll also note that there's no interference on the screen with the video. That's something fairly unique to Hawthorne. Our video doesn't get distorted when you turn the sound on and off. If we turn the sound off again, it's five seconds holding the yellow button. And the icon goes away. You'll see the main screen here. We can record, we can take screenshots. So the green icon here, picture is saved. It's saving pictures directly to your photos folder, much like if you were taking a picture of video of your dog. To record a video, simply press the red recording button and the app asks you if you'd like to record with audio. The microphone on your device is where the audio recording takes place. So anything you say in front of your device when recording video will be saved over the video. In this instance, let's say OK. It's telling me my microphone is on and it's counting the seconds that I'm recording video. If I press stop, it will tell me it's saved successfully. Wait a few seconds and then open the file folder and you'll see the video here. And you can replay that video. For Apple devices, video and still photos are stored in the standard photos album, much like if you were taking a video of your kids or your dog. For Android devices, it really depends on whether or not you have a Samsung or a Sony. Different skins and manufacturers will store photos in different places. We recommend that Android users install VLC Media Player, which downloads and puts all of your videos in the same place so that they're easily accessible. It's the most convenient way to ensure that you can find your videos on your particular manufacturer's device. Um, any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at 188Hawthorne or www.hawthornecorp.com. Uh, there's a lot of manuals and uh, videos on the website, but always feel free to give us a call and we'll be more than happy to help you out.